I wanted to make a short video to show how you can use Pianola and Pianola Plus to analyze your results from playing bridge. If you've played bridge on a Friday, you'll get an email like this when the results are posted and it will show you your overall results, which are here at the bottom, how you did. And also recently I've started including the results for each section, section A and B separately. So you'll get a slightly different percentage depending on whether you look at just the hands played in your section or the overall section. And then here you'll see uh, some links to view the full results, information about some of the worst and best scores you had. Um, and you can click on one of these links to take you to the uh, full results for your session. And if you have a Pianola account and you're already logged in, it will highlight your particular uh, rank overall. If you don't get an email for some reason, you can always find the weekly results if you go to my website. So that is bridgeclass.co.uk. Um, and then from here, there's some information about my groups, my lessons. And you can always click on the results link, which will take you to the overall results. And that will bring up the uh, same page uh, either way. So what I'm going to do is look at the hands, I will look at one hand to start with and see how you think you did, whether you could have done better. So we'll look at this link, the Travelers link, and we're going to look at board one. So board one, uh, I'll click on this show commentary link, and this brings up the hands and my recommended auction. And it also shows um, this little grid at the bottom is the same as on the handouts that actually says that North South could make a grand slam. The recommended bidding on this one is shown here. One heart, three hearts, six hearts. Now, that's not a particularly easy slam to bid. Um, North has got 19 points. It would be a strong two if you played strong twos, but otherwise you might just open one heart. But South, I think, should definitely go to three hearts here. You have eight points in high cards, but you have a singleton, which definitely makes it uh, worth a bit more. Also, if you use the losing trick count, which I strongly recommend, you're, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight losers, which is one better than you need for a raise to two hearts. So you should bid um, three hearts. Now, if your partner's also using the losing trick count, they should work out they've got one spade loser and two diamond losers. And that's it. Just three losers. So if they add their three losers to your expected losers of eight, which comes to 11, they can deduct that from 18. And that would suggest that you can bid a grand slam. Now, I don't think you're going to bid a grand slam unless you're really certain of it. Um, so... I recommend you just bid six hearts. It's a, not really any point asking about aces, is there? Um, as you can see, uh, almost no one bid a grand slam, or, or any slam, in fact. And sadly, one person that did bid a grand slam went down. Um, so let's have a look at uh, how this should go. And if you've signed up to Pianola Plus, which is a service you have to pay for after the first 30 days, you can click on this link and it will take you to a page which will allow you to replay the hand. Now to make this look a little clearer, I'm going to enlarge the zoom to about 200%, uh, which will make the uh, display a little bit different. And this is the hand you're playing. And if you've played it before, it will come up with the contract that it was played in, or you can change it to a different contract, different declarer if you like. Here we'll, I'll just think I'll just change it to seven hearts by North. So instead of playing four hearts, let's assume it was played in seven hearts. And what this is showing you to start with is that no matter what East-West lead, you should be able to make this. So let's suppose they lead the Queen of Clubs. 
and before we play we're going to try and make a plan from declarer's point of view. Remember on this one declarer is north so we're going to look at the losers in this hand but take into account all the uh, useful cards in dummy down here. So um, how many losers have we got? How many spade losers does declarer have? Well, you have two possible spade losers, okay? Maybe a finesse will work, maybe it won't. But you do have two losers there. Do you have any heart losers? No, those hearts all look very solid. You've really got three missing hearts. The only losers apart from spades are those three diamond losers. But you should be able to get rid of those losers by roughing them in dummy. You have quite good trumps in dummy. You've got two high... Uh, trumps the jack and the ten and two low ones and I would be aiming to rough three times in dummy so I don't lose any diamonds. I've also got another source of tricks on this hand which is the ace and king of clubs and that will allow me to discard twice and that's what I'm going to do on this hand. If you decide to win this first trick with the ace, okay, what Pianola Plus is now telling you is that you must now discard a spade. It's the only way to make uh, seven hearts. If you discard anything else, you can be defeated. So let's discard a spade. And <clears throat> we're in our uh, dummy now. And what was our plan? Well, remember our plan was to rough diamonds. So we're not going to draw trumps. We're, we want to rough three times. So let's start by playing a diamond. We're going to win the ace, of course. And immediately, uh, we're going to play a diamond. Now, remember I said we were going to rough three times? So what I'm going to do is rough the first one low, and then the second and third ones high. So they cannot be over up, even if we run into bad distribution. Okay? And uh, so we've won the first one. By the way, if at any time in this you want to turn the guidance off and just uh, do it without the help of PNO the Plus, you can do that, or you can turn it on again. So, here we are. We've roughed the first diamond. What do we want to do now? Well, we want to get back to our hand. There are a number of ways you could uh, do that. You might do it with a trump. That's quite safe, okay, because we've just got two more uh, roughs to go. And at this point, if you're noticing... Uh, you can see that there's just one trump out. But we're going to carry on roughing rough with the jack. Okay. And now, again, we need to get back to our hand. Um, how can we get back to our hand? There are a couple of ways. Um, but I think we could get back maybe with a spade. And, of course, we're not going to risk any finesse here. We just got back so that we can leave the last diamond and we're going to rough with the jack. Again, that cannot be overrun. Now we're in um, good shape, but what we need to do is cash that king of clubs. Yes, we need to cash king of clubs so we can discard the spade. Um, and now all we need to do is get back to our hand. Actually, you could get back with a spade rough or with a, a club rough chance of uh, that going wrong is uh, actually nil. Um, if you're confident in your counting of trumps, you could actually rough this one high because there's only one trump out and you can't be over -upped. Okay, Even if you weren't counting trumps and just decided to rough uh, low, the chance of a, an over -rough was uh, very small there. Um, and there we are. We've... Um, We've done it now. All we need to now do is draw that last trump. Okay. And we can now claim, expose our hand and make the last three tricks. So, as I said, very few people managed to make all 13 tricks there. But it was quite possible, as long as you remember, to rough those diamonds.